Ferret Walk Foxtrot 1. Bofo and Ferret were playing Crazy Eights with Sabrina and Kim when Bofo's phone rang. Milo called and told Bofo there was something he should take a look at. Just follow the Megans. Bofo and the rest stepped outside and they were met by Megan Shannon. Megan Shannon told them to take a left at Shannon Destiny. They met Shannon Destiny and went down the block. Kim mentioned that there was no reason why she wasn't winning Crazy Eights. Sabrina nodded. Then they met Destiny Shannon. She mentioned that she could hear a jukebox. They entered the shop that was next to the highbrow coffee shop. They were greeted by Megan. Megan showed them the building. It had a stage and seats for an audience. Larry and Milo were there and they asked Bofo if he wanted to do ferret walk in front of an audience. Bofo called Mary Bat. She said she was in. Then the lights came up and there was Mary Bat Puppet. The puppet was dressed in a bat costume like Mary Bat. Destiny Shannon found the jukebox and played Mary Bat was a good little bat. There was even a local band there. The Clones. Ferret Walk Foxtrot Yes, men. There was a good crowd at Ferret Walk. There were over 30 people. Buffo met them on Planet Map on Costume Day. They were all friends of Megan. Ferret jumped in a little red wagon and Buffo pulled him across the stage. Buffo said hello and welcomed them to Ferret Walk. Buffo called Larry and Milo and they took the stage on both sides of Bofo. Bofo was in the middle. The light went down, and the floor under it lit up in the shape of surfboards. There was a song playing, and when the song finished, Bofo started chanting, Mary Bat was a good little bat. In a corner behind Larry, there was a cutout where Mary Bat Puppet was. Bofo turned to the crowd and said he was going to ask a question and the answer he was looking for is yes. Ferret walk, Buffo started. Do you like Mary Bat? Yes, the crowd cheered. Ferret Walk Foxtrot Drama Welcome to Ferret Walk, said Bofo. Bofo took the stage. On his right was Larry. On his left was Milo. The music was from a song called Untitled. Today's topic is drama. Ferret joined Bofo on stage. Ferret had a fake mustache and was pretending to be the bad guy. Destiny Shannon joined them on stage. You must pay the map, Ferret told Destiny Shannon. I can't pay the map, Destiny Shen told Barrett. I'll pay the map, said Bofo. My hero, Destiny Shen, and swooned. And now word from Mary Bat Pup. Mary Bat was a good little bat. Map.
Ferret Walk Foxtrot Pirates On the stage were Milo, Bofo, and Larry. Bofo called Ferret, and Ferret walked in with a small treasure chest. The audience cheered. Are you ordered up in Ferret? asked Bofo. Swab the deck all hands. Ferret ordered. Milo left and came back with three mops. Larry, Bofo, and Milo were pretending to mop the stage. When they were finished, Larry collected the mops, and Captain Ferret opened the chest. There were bags of jelly beans. The clones played a song while Misty, Jane, and Aaliyah passed out jelly beans to the audience. Then it was time for Mary Bat. Mary Bat was a good little bat. Behind Larry was Mary Bat Puppet. Buffo saw a lady in a ferret costume. He turned to Milo and asked about her. Milo told him she was making destiny. She goes by the name Mimsy. Bofo asked her if she would dance for them. The clones played a song and she danced. We should have a ferret fest sometime, Bofo said to Larry. Larry nodded. Ferret Walk Foxtrot Blue and Red On the stage were Milo and Larry. Buffo came out with Ferret with a little red wagon. Ferret was looking in the audience. Music was playing and Mimsy started to dance. Ferret saw Red in the crowd and asked her to come up and dance with Mimsy. She told Ferret she wasn't Red. She was Blue. Ferret told Buffo that Red found her sense of humor. The rest of the crayons were starting a band. Blue was the drummer and Red was the singer. Ferret thought it wasn't just Red, wasn't Red just getting around. Buffa told her he loved her singing jazz at the coffee shop. Blue told him it wasn't her. Buffo smiled and winked. Buffo remembered Red from the crayons on Mep Costumey Day. This reminded Bofo of the time Megan Shannon pretended she wasn't Shannon Megan. The phone rang. It was Sabrina. Kim and Sabrina were working about Mep Labs, and they were with Red, and they were going to be running late. They were not to start Fred Walk without them. Then Kim, Sabrina, and Red walked in. Red introduced Boo. She was Red's daughter. Red had red hair. Blue had blonde hair. They look exactly alike. Identical daughter and mother. Buffo just thought that Red changed her hair. Ferret Walk Foxtrot Hat Trick Buffo, Ferret, Milo, and Larry were on stage. Ferret was in his little red wagon and the band played. Mimsy danced and the show started. It was a good crowd. Ferret left and came back with some top hat. He pulled out a small table. Buffo pulled out a small stuffed rabbit from the hat. He gave the hat to Milo. Milo made Rabbit vanish. 
and then Larry pulled the small stuffed rabbit from his hat and then gave it to Ferret. Ferret then made vanish again. Then Bofo spotted Michelle in the audience and asked her to come on stage. Larry and Milo wheeled out a large wooden booth. Larry and Milo put on some masks. Michelle asked Milo to enter the booth, and Larry closed the door. Michelle waved her hands and asked Larry to take off the mask. Larry had turned to Milo, and Milo opened the booth. Milo had turned into Larry. Mary Bat Puppet was going to do her own trick. She had a hat that was too big for her, and she was going to wear it anyway. She put the large hat on, and it fit. Ferret walk foxtrot. Blink. Don't blink. Ferret and Bofo were on the stage and were staring at each other. Bofo thought Ferret would blink first, and Ferret thought Bofo would blink. The clones played, and Mimsy danced. Larry then asked his lady Trina to join him on stage, and they started ballroom dancing. They danced around Bofo and Ferret. Bofo blinked. Ferret smiled, but Bofo challenged him to two out of three. Milo mentioned there was a show going on, and Bofo told them to start without him. He said he would catch up. Ferret blinked. Bofo and Ferret were going again. Mary Bat was a good little puppet behind Larry. Mary Bat told Ferret and Bofo they were missing a show. Ferret told them they would be there in a bit. Bofo blinked. So Bofo told Ferret he wanted to go three out of five. Well, the show was over, and Sabrina turned out the lights, and Bofo and Ferret were still staring at each other. Ferret walk fox trot. Countdown. Bofo was sipping coffee. Ferret was Kelly Beans. Destiny Shannon and Shannon Destiny were on stage. They were joined by Megan Shannon, Megan Chris, and Kirsten. They had a rocket that they made from paper and glue. Ma asked Ferret something, and Ferret lost his place in counting. He asked Ferret how many jelly beans there were. Ferret didn't know. Ferret counted them again. Larry asked Milo about the jelly beans. Milo didn't know. Mimsy asked Larry. Larry didn't know. Bofo asked Mimsy. Mimsy didn't know. Ferret asked Bofo. Bofo said there were probably ten of them, but they were upside down so you need to count backwards. Ferret started counting backwards from ten. When he got to zero, Destiny Shannon grabbed the rocket and made a whoosh sound. She pretended the rocket blasted off. Ferret walk, foxtrot. Goth. Buffo and Ferret were on stage with Milo and Larry. They could hear hissing from the audience. Buffo followed the sound until they came to Megan Chris. She was wearing a Halloween vampire fang, and she was hissing like a black cat. Ferret found a black cape and a top hat. He looked like a magician. 
then ferret hissed like Meg and Chris. Okay, now he was a vampire magician. Children of the night, what beautiful music they make. Then Bofo howled. Ooh. Sabrina and Kim were barking like dogs. Yip, yip, bow, wow. Michelle the magician helped ferret in the magic chamber. Then she opened the box, and there was a rubber bet on a string. Then Bofo sat down, and an organ started playing skating rink music. All skate to the left, no, said Bofo. Ferret walk foxtrot. Angels. Ferret and Bopo were on the stage with Larry and Milo. Sabrina wanted to show them something in the dark, so she turned off the lights. Some of the people in the audience were glowing in the dark. The lights came back on, and Ferret said it was a mystery. They were going to need to call them the Megans. Destiny Shannon came on stage in a toy car. Megan Shannon was there with a small blanket. Shannon Destiny came on stage with a crossword puzzle book. Buffo told them they had to run some tests. Some of the people were glowing when the lights were out. Ferret said it was a mystery. So they ran some tests. Ferret gla got a glass of water and put some blue food coloring in it. The water turned blue. Buffo had some baking soda. He added it to the water and it fizzed a little. Meg and Shannon had a small balloon. She popped it with a needle. Destiny Shannon had a microphone. She asked if this thing was on. Shannon and Destiny said the tests were almost done. They found out some of the audience were angels. How did you figure that out from those tests? asked Kim. Me didn't. Shannon and Destiny asked them how they did it. And while Destiny Shannon was testing the microphone, they said they were angels. Above bubble, bubble, said Sabrina. Ferret walk foxtrot. Too far. Bofo and Ferret were on stage looking at a map. They were trying to find a good route from California to Maine. Interstate seemed to be the best way. I-10 in California to Arizona seemed a good start. New Mexico and Texas were next. In Texas, they could take I-10 to I-20, then I-30 to Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, they would take I-30 to I-40. Ferret looked on the map. Ferret commented I-50 and I-60 were missing on the map. They would take I-40 to I-81 in Tennessee. I-81 goes through Maryland and Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, they could take 70 to New Jersey. In New Jersey, they could take 95 to New York, then to Connecticut. Then they would pass Massachusetts, Vermont, and Maine. Ferret put the map down. Now they need was a reason to go. They asked each other if they had any relatives in Maine, and they didn't. Buffalo said he could go take a picture of a moose, moose, and give that to Sabrina. She could use it in a scrapbooking hobby. But Ferret said he could find pictures on the internet. They could pretend they were truck drivers with another load of map. Buffalo reminded Ferret that they were truck drivers. We are truck drivers, Ferret. Oh. 
Ferrer wanted to bring his jelly bean collection because they had never seen Dallas. Both thought that was going a bit too far. Ferret walk foxtrot. One more. Bofo was on stage sipping his coffee. Ferret ran by yelling into a megaphone. One more. Destiny Shannon ran by yelling. One more. Megan Shannon and Shannon Destiny walked by. One more. One more what? asked Bofo. One more ferret walk foxtrot, said Shannon Destiny. Then it gets recorded. Any good, at Bofo? There are angels in the audience, and magic, said Megan Shannon. I have a joke, Bofo told them. There was a skunk and a tree stump. There was a smell in the air. The skunk thunk, the stump stunk. The stump thunk, the skunk stunk. Ha! Huh. They said...